Welcome back. Well, this is the time of year when many of us are busy attending holiday parties. But not everyone is so fortunate. Many of our elderly find December a lonely, isolating month. That's why becoming a Santa for a senior can make a huge difference. Veronica Cooper has more. Nancy Hum is looking over the small Christmas tree at Hart Pharmacy. Teresa. And she's made her choice. She wants socks and slippers. Nancy has just become a Santa to a senior. It's a lovely, lovely program that we love to do. Alistair Hicks owns Home Instead Senior Care Victoria. We are enhancing the lives of aging people and their families by assisting them to stay in the place they call home. Biggest thing that we provide is companionship. And they also provide a Santa to a senior, which begins with nomination forms distributed to community agencies. Like uh, Family Caregiver Network or Parkinson's Society or Arthritis Society, also to residential care um, facilities. So those people are helping us to nominate seniors who are very isolated or underprivileged in some way, or they may not have family visiting during the holidays. And those names, nearly 600 this year, and a gift they would like, are placed on Christmas trees in various locations. Last year we participated and the dispensary was full of presents and it was um, not only neat to sort of provide that to the community, but it was neat within the pharmacy itself and the staff really got on board with it, so lots of fun. Oh, your socks. I think it's a wonderful program. It does a lot of good. There are a lot of what I call forgotten folks who are isolated and cannot engage in the community because of various reasons and they tend to be forgotten, especially at this time of year. Pair of slippers, size medium, please. And the community at large has a chance to give with the faith that this gift is going to lift somebody's spirits at Christmas time. So I found everything I needed here. A simple gift to let someone who may be alone know someone else cares. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.